All right, you you ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. All right, man. So <laughs> let's uh let's uh fuck it. Let's let's uh just just jump right into it. Let me uh let me, let me see this uh video of you on uh Nightline. <laughs> Look at that. On Nightline. Hi, I'm Hanifa Sharif, aka Nifa Nee, is driving <gasps> hundreds of miles from Georgia to Florida. I've made it to Florida and it's still pretty normal, it's still busy. Here in Wildwood, Florida. Good morning. It's time to start my day. So I'm about to go inside of the truck stop, shower and get me something to eat. The truck stop's quiet. The dining area nearly deserted. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. Traffic lounge is closed until further notice. So no TVs for us. Shower one, that's my shower. So they just got us like on lock the fuck. <laughs> down i mean it's like it's like we go up in these it's 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 like we got people that's like lightweight celebrating us for for being out there but they they doing like behind the back shit like that they're not taking care of us it's almost like your name we're locked out men like you know right <laughs> like literally you know right day, i went to pick up my load in pasadena texas Mm -hmm. And they had a sign there saying no public restroom. So basically all the truckers could not use the restroom. Wow. I had to use the restroom and close my curtains and use it in my truck. Like, God damn literally. it, man. Well, everybody, we got a special guest on this evening and we got, we got lots to talk about. You know, we did the, <laughs> we did the interview. We did the interview with her and all like that. Let's, uh, let's welcome Miss Nifa Nee to the show. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nifa Nee, the rapper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's the up, everybody? The rapper, the truck driver, the moms. That's what's up, Nifa Nee. Florida what's Orange. Up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, sir. You are yes, sir. Yes, sir. Out of Florida, out of Florida, doing the damn thing. Everybody, if y'all don't know about Nifa Nee and what she got going on, definitely go and uh, definitely go and check out her YouTube channel right here, Nifa Nee. You know she's she's <laughs> she's uh, she's the total package. I mean, she's a rapper. She's a mom's. She's a motivational speaker. She's a she's a <laughs> She's a, a, a influencer and an entrepreneur. A entrepreneur. <laughs> this girl got lashes. She got purses. She got she got everything that you could possibly. This this girl is 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 like the the true hustler's hustle. So if one hustle stops, she has another hustle, <laughs> man. That's that's what's up, Nifa Nee in the so in the house. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for yeah. having me on your platform. I appreciate it. No I doubt. Enjoy. No I, doubt. I'm so grateful for what you're doing, man. Because you're you. out here killing the game, Sean. I'm, hey, I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. But, you know, I got, you know, like I said, it's me and uh, me and G7, uh, G7-8. You know, we mm -hmm. both we, we both out here, you know, trying to, you know, trying to keep this you know, trying to keep this platform going. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Me over here with the PG style, and him over there with the with the triple X style. Now, oh. I, I, I do, I, I do have a little bit of triple X over here, a, a little bit, a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, and then, yeah, you know, we, uh, we, we, we here, man, we here. But, wow. um, but. I what y'all doing because y'all really letting the people know what it is and what it ain't how it is and you're just keeping it real and that's what people need to know especially when they think they want to get their cdl and come out here exactly. just because we make it look good you need to know why you coming out here 
how long you finna be out here. Mm -hmm. It ain't sweet out here. You got to have heart to come out here. Yeah. There was some times I was out there, Sean, and I was feeling like I was in jail. All I can do is call home. I can't, I can't be home. Wait, whoa, be whoa, home. whoa, 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 like, wait, wait, Nifa. Back it up a little bit. I don't think you said okay. it. I don't think you said jail in the interview. Jail? Uh -huh. Hold up. Jail? That was my mind. Oh, that was, that was your mind. Oh, okay. That was I'm, my mindset. That's okay. I felt, I felt like all I could do is call home and talk to people. Okay. Stuck out here in my truck. They, cause you know they try you when you a rookie. They'll keep you out three or four weeks before you get home. Exactly. You know what I'm you know, so people be thinking, shit, sweet, it ain't sweet. You got to know why you coming. I had forgot why I was out there. I was wanting to get home. I was out there to make sure my family good. Mm -hmm. That's why I was out there. So if you forget about that, because you can forget about that and be thinking like, damn, these crackers really don't care about me. Sorry, I don't mean to say that. But these people, are really, you know, big companies, really, you're just a truck number. That's, and that's how I was spending that sometimes. And that's how that. And that's how some of the and that's how some of these companies are. You know what I'm saying? The the company I'm with know me by name. They know me by person. I can go in mm -hmm. and 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 chop it up with my fleet manager. Me and my fleet manager has has a good repertoire. We we do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? He knew that I he knew that I could get the job done and and I and and I knew that he could get me the miles and the money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that relationship that you need to build with your fleet manager first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. will make the will make the time at the at any company great. You know what I'm saying? It's just if you don't build that relationship, it's like when you come in, you know, I'm a veteran now. So if I go if I go into a new company or something like that. I'm not going to care about the relationship because I know I'm going to get it. But being that you coming into this game, that's what you want to do. You want to build that relationship and you definitely. want to. You, I switched it up. You, yeah, right. I definitely had to switch up. I got a phone call switch up. Make sure y'all check that out. It's a new single. I put it out. It's on my YouTube channel. I had to switch up. I had to switch my, 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 frame, my frame of thinking. Like I was just so in the mindset of lack. Like I don't got this. I don't got that. I had to get out. I, got to, I had to make sure I wrote a gratitude journal. God, thank you for waking me up. Thank you for blessing me with this job. Exactly. Let me get to know my job a minute and see what he could do for me and get the seat and see if he could talk to the planner exactly. and get me the lows. And once I switch that around and I made goals for myself, mm -hmm. this is what I want to do. This is how much money I want to get. No, I don't want to buy a truck. Yes, I do want to get the experience to get a local job, mm -hmm. a local truck job. So I had to get my experience. You get what I'm saying? So I had to get out of that mind frame because it was easy to go there. Because I missed being home. I was homesick. I had to make sure I knew who I was doing it for. And I was doing it for my son. Make sure that he have college funds. Even if you don't want to go to college, I have some money put up. If you want to start a business, we could do it like that. Because, you know, school ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. But just in case I get that, I had to remember why I got my CDL in the first place. Because it's so easy to forget. That's, it's so easy to forget. That's what's, and I changed my mindset. That's what's up. Knee for knee, she got uh, to let you guys know that she is a rapper. You know what I'm saying? She got some, <laughs> she got some, uh, she got, she got a mixtape right now that you guys could go, uh, that you guys could go check out. Blue Magic. I'm playing, uh, playing a cut in the background called Bars featuring uh, GMB. Don't know who that is, but, but. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a rap group from St. Pete. We got a yeah. rap group from Yeah, so definitely going, uh, going check that out. But I gotta tell you though, Nifa, I, I gotta tell you, man, this, uh, this, this virus is uh, shutting everything down. How, how is it affecting you? Uh, affecting you with your music? With my music, I actually have not been in the studio. Like I've been so focused because you know these videos is going viral people is getting jumped on by toilet tissue so i've been so focused on making sure other families have what they need because at this time like this they count on us mm -hmm. and you know this really ain't nothing to me i done drove through harvey i done drove through irma you know i delivered them water mm -hmm. so i just been focused on giving the people what they need because i know i'm gonna get blessed in return and be able to get back in the studio you know when the Cities ain't on lockdown and stuff like that. But right now we got a job to do. And 
I'm just here to do mine. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> this is like our war. This is our front line. We, nah, this all war. Nah, I was going to I was gonna bring that up. I, I was going to bring that up, you know, turn, you know, bring it back over to us truck drivers. But I was just saying, like, you know, that you you being a, you know, you being a hip hopper and all like that. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll have some of your, you know, have you been in contact with, with, with any of your uh, hip hop friends? How, how, yeah, how definitely. they, how just, they taking it? Because they, it's been a couple of them, um, uh, that came down with, with the outbreak, yeah. uh, Slim Thug, yeah. Scarface. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, how, how has, how has your, how has your people been, been faring? My people have been okay, you know, like the people that I closely know, the people like the producers and the artists that I'm working with, mm -hmm. like they would just hit me up, like we need to do a song together, let's get in the studio, you know, when we can get in the studio. But as far as these big celebrities and stuff, I know it's hitting, they can, they're taking it. Cause you know, what, uh, Meek Mills feel like he had it back in December, Styles P feel like he had it mm -hmm. back in like November. So yeah, it's hitting, the, it's hitting the hip hop community for sure. Man, it's 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 crazy that I found that uh that I found that video of uh Slim Thug and and yeah. he over here talking about you know it ain't it it this 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 ain't sh you know this is real and a lot of people and and a lot of people that that's over here that's that's bullshitting thinking that this shit ain't real and mm -hmm. while you know while you people is at home enjoying the fact that y'all could be at home. Y'all don't have to go outside. Y'all don't have to social distance. Y'all y'all keep y'all social distance and all like that. We out here, the truck drivers, we are in the thick of things. We mm -hmm. we are in we are in the thick of things. We still gotta we still gotta interact with you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. we we can't we after 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 we drive. It ain't like we can we can go home. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm up in Alabama. My home is in Ohio. It ain't like right. once I get finished, I can drive all the way back to Ohio and get back in my cozy house. You know, Definitely. but we we are we are intertwined with with getting out, fueling, getting out, uh, still washing in public showers. Now, mm -hmm. now that now that this outbreak is like. It's like tremendous now. They they now they washing the showers out like they supposed to. Yeah, Sean. Let them know. Let them know. Sean. Like they supposed Let them know. to. You know. <laughs> like they yeah. supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, like they supposed to. They they don't wash out the shower. They before all of this, they'll just go in here. Here and there and this and, and they're done. You you key in next next person go in. Now they got to go in and disinfect. Instead of five minutes, they taking a full 10, 20, 15, uh, 15, 20, 30 yeah. minutes and cleaning that shit. And we yeah. and we still got to interact with that. Now they over here changing. Mm -hmm. They over here changing things up. They closing things. They're they're not giving us the amenities that we need. You know what I'm saying? They over here talking about they got um, you know now they got you you can't get the Warler dog. Now they they got people to get it for you and all like that because they don't want you touching it. But they touching it. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? And then, Sean, I had to go to the crib real quick because, you know, they closed the washers and the dryer. You hear what I'm saying? Like, and did you hear that this coronavirus can stay on metal or, I, like, plastic, you that? plastic, yeah. metal, mm -hmm. rubber? Yeah. 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 That's that's the, hot, Sean. <laughs> Let them know, that's, Sean. That's, that's what's up, you know. And now they now now it's getting to the point, and now it's getting to the point that it's uh, 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 affecting it's affecting us. Let's let's go back. Let's let's go back to that uh to that nightline uh that nightline uh video that she was doing. I gotta turn it up. Oh, hold on, right quick. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. Damn it, man. Wrong one. I there we go. There we go. There we go. There, we go. there, you, go. there you are. Oh, I'm trying to get it up. The there you go. Sharif counts her blessings. And I'm grateful that I am an essential worker and I get to work at a time like this. 
when America needs us. All right. All right. So let's talk about that, uh, Nifa. How how was you able to uh, to hook up with uh, Nightline? Okay, so I got this email. Because, you know, in my description box, I always leave an email if anybody want to work with me or send me anything. And, you know, I got to – also, I have a coaching business. So if you want to start that, you can just email me. So I got an email from, you know, a producer mm -hmm. from ABC. And so first thing I do is screenshot and send it to my sister. And I'm like, you think this real? <laughs> and she told me to uh, well, Google her and Google the phone number. So that was the first thing I did. See. And then so um, she ended up, I guess I emailed her fast enough that she wrote me on Instagram. Because, you know, I got all my social media links. If you trying to reach me, everything is in my description box. Right. So I said, so I screenshot it. I said, the same lady reaching out to me on Instagram. Okay. And so... Yeah, I, I ended up calling her because she gave me her number in the email. We had a good conversation, Sean. And um, find out, gonna find out she's 26. She the one who put together the show. She behind the scenes. Right. So she put together the show. We both 26 years old. We both women and we were just talking. And she was asking me about my experience. And I just felt comfortable enough to just give it a reel. And I gave it a reel. And so she asked me, she said, well, I've been watching your videos and I love how you record and film and we're doing like video diaries. Would you want to be a part of this? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so she explained to me what I would need to do. And that's basically what I do for YouTube, basically. So I did the exact thing I would do for YouTube, but I just sent her the video. She put it together on her show, which is on ABC Network. And she showed our struggles, right? Yeah, this this yeah. is this is the um this is the uh this is the uh this is the link that you okay. that you sent me. I'm I'm trying to get it in view, but this the link that you sent me. I know it's all blurred and all like that, but that's the link that you sent me the that you was talking that you was talking to her. And um Right. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I was I was surprised. I was like, "Whoa!" I was like, "ABC <laughs> Nightline." I was like, "How the hell they get a hold of you?" Like, nah, I'm like, "You you getting out there?" So basically, <laughs> what you did was just put the videos together, and you just what you just emailed her through the you know put it in your Google yeah, Drive, and you know, you know, and you emailed Google her. Drive, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what I did. Uh, okay. Okay. That's what she asked me to do. I didn't even know what a Google Drive was. So, like, she walked <laughs> me through it. She was real cool. And, you know, we happened to be the same age. And she just walked me through it. And that's how I was able to send it to her, the Google Drive. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. And, like I said, that, that came on that came on when? Last night? Last night at 1135. At 1130, at 1135. Everybody, I said, everybody. Yeah, you sent that you sent that link to me and I was like, okay, hey, I was on it. I was watching it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yay. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm glad that, you know, especially the females that I'm that, you know, that I interview and I, you know, hook up with. I'm glad to see you guys getting some type of shine, you know, making sure that, you know, that you Thank guys you, is sir. doing the, you know, bringing the uh bringing the game into a positive light you know what i'm saying right right not yeah. none of this not none of this bullshit going back and forth with one another and all like that you out here yeah. out here trying to show the positive vibes and all like that and just trying to keep it going so i'm just i'm just thankful for you ladies the, that that <laughs> that feel like that you guys can come out here and and do the damn thing push these uh trucks up and down the street you know what i'm saying right i feel yeah, you on that you welcome you welcome <laughs> So this uh this outbreak man got got us every got everybody scared man I mean yeah it got everybody scared man so what had this you you already said that you you experience uh you experience some issues now with some uh, shippers and receivers what what are they what are they doing to us out there? Well, let me tell you, I was in Pasadena, Texas, you know. And I went in there because I had these bathroom anyway. So, you know, when, you shine, when I, I signed in, and there was this sign right there. No public restrooms. Like, no restrooms for the public. So, none of the truck drivers, because you they restrooms. Mind you, they didn't have no porty potty out the door. So, I literally had to, like, close my curtains and relieve myself in my truck. But it's just like, 
Yeah. <laughs> now it's it's kind of it's kind of funny. I, I you know I'm I'm about to I'm I'm about to I'm about to say something. It, it's it's kind of oh. it's it's kind of funny that uh that that we are getting treated worse now than we was ever treated because these shippers and receivers they don't have restrooms they don't want us to go in there and use their restrooms they got a porta mm-hmm. potty outside we only use the porta potty but they they've been doing that way before this epidemic true they they, they have been making us use porta potties they they didn't they they didn't want us to they didn't want us to 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 use none of their facilities we come in there we come we have to stand behind the gate and all like that. We had to interact with them behind the gate way before this epidemic. Let them know. Let them know. Way son. before know, this epidemic. Know. You know, everybody over here talking about now that, oh, well, the shippers and receivers, they doing this. They making us do that. No. They've been doing that way before this epidemic. It's just that now the epidemic, everybody is talking about it. Well, let me tell you something. Since I'm a female, I can kind of get away with it. Mm-hmm. They'll let me use the restroom, even though they ain't supposed to. Because, you know, I guess they feel like I won't mess it up. I'm clean. You know, Ex- I can use it. Exactly. So we we, we, we yeah. have we, we have a we have a stereotype about ourselves. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They feel like we nasty and got rotten teeth, big stomachs. Like, mm-hmm. Exactly. But as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, though, they've been doing that to us way before you go. You go to this nice shipper and receiver and, you know, you probably been holding it for a little bit and all like that. And you go up to the to the clerk and say, hey, uh, you have a restroom right quick. Uh, no, we don't have no restroom. Uh, do mm-hmm. you have do you you know, usually they'll be like, well, we have a porta potty outside, but some of them don't even have porta potties. Let them know, Sean. They Let some them of them don't have porta potties, and you and you stuck. And then there's some Joe Blow over there with his video phone recording the dude relieving himself outside of the truck. But do you? Oh. But do you know why? You know, you you in the truck over here talking. Oh, but look at that dude right there. He all mm-hmm. nasty, you know, like that. Well, he couldn't use the he couldn't use the restroom on the inside of the building. And then there mm-hmm. wasn't, and there's no porta potties. Mm-hmm. What what is he gonna do? True. Let him know, Sean. And then now we, and then now we over here talking. Now, now we we still. It's national news now. Yeah, it's yeah. national. <laughs> it's national news that they over here talking about. Uh, they over here talking about well, they don't have no porta potties. They this and they that. They this that and the third. And I'm over here like they've been doing all of that. Way before, um, way before everything on air. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mhm. Mhm. So that's what's up, man. That's that's what's up. But they, but they, they, you know, now it's now this epidemic is is going on and all like that. Is uh is every everybody? Oh, okay. Well, we we for the truck drivers now and. You yeah, know, thank you, truck drivers. We're heroes now. We we, we heroes love now, we Sean. love we love you and 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 all like that. But do you really love us though? For real? Yeah, yeah. Do you really love us? Just saying. You know, yeah. Because we we out here bringing what you need. Mm. We we bringing we out here bringing what you need now. You know what I'm saying? Preach, we out here bringing what you need, but. When we was bringing what you need, y'all was disrespecting us. Y'all was cutting us off. Y'all was giving us the finger. Y'all was y'all yeah. y'all 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 didn't give a y'all didn't give a care in the world about us. Mm-hmm. But now now we heroes. Now we heroes. <laughs> now now y'all need y'all sanitizer. Y'all need y'all <laughs> y'all need y'all toilet paper. And I don't even understand. Yeah. I, I don't even understand the, the situation with this toilet paper shit. Somebody, some, oh my somebody explain that to me. Nifa. Es- Somebody's eating it at this point. Nifa. Somebody is having it for dinner. Nifa, <laughs> tell me about this toilet paper out, the outbreak thing. What What is up with toilet uh, paper? Man, people, 
people are going, have you seen the viral videos? I mean, it was two Puerto Rican ladies jumping on the African American lady about toilet. She had a, a carton full, a basket full of toilet tissue. And, and she wouldn't give the lady one. And they, oh, it went viral. That dude, that and, and the dude came out. I, I've seen the video. I think I actually, I think I actually talked about it and played the video in one of my um in one of my things. But uh, but yeah, yeah. The, the, what happened the, from from the little from the little bit of it? It was it it was it was two chicks. It was like two chicks. They was arguing. They was fighting. And the chick, the 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 color chick was like, "Yo, I just need one." Like one, you got like a basket full, like like ten, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only need one. So the mm-hmm. so I guess that was the store manager or something like that. The store manager came over and uh mm-hmm. and and he was like, nah, we're we gonna have to break this up right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to break we're gonna have to break that up right there. So ha- have you seen any ha- have you seen any craziness out there though uh concerning this <laughs> shit? Have you seen have you seen anybody fighting or anything like Not that? Not in person. I just been seeing the videos, but I haven't seen nothing in person and I'm so grateful because I really don't want to see nothing like that, son. So somebody I think people are really scared of the unknown. Like they don't know how long this is gonna be going on. Like how give us a date. You know, like everybody wanna date, they don't know us. So I feel like that's really what's Scaring everybody just the unknown, like not being in the know. So they want, but I haven't seen nothing. They they want they yeah. they want they want an end date. You know, come to find out, I talked yeah. to I talked to my son. You know, the USA is number one in 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 the outbreak, um, in the outbreak now. We we sur- I didn't know that. we surpass Italy, and it we surpassed yes, Italy. Yes, Italy was supposed to. Italy was ground zero, and USA surpassed Italy. God, this kid crazy. People must not be taking it serious, or I mean, what, what, you, what why you think it's spread like that, Sean? <sighs> Let me know how you feel. I, you know what? At first, uh, at first, I, I, I was one. I was one of them. I was like, man, you know, the government, this and the. And the government yeah. that and this, that, and the third. I, I was one of them. But then when it hit home, mm-hmm. that's when it got serious to me. Like mm-hmm. when Ohio, like when Ohio yeah. when when Ohio starts shutting down shit, when the casinos start shutting down shit, that's when the shit was getting real. Like Casino, mm-hmm. I was like casinos, and at first I was like, at first I was like, yeah, fuck that shit, yeah, close down the casinos because the casinos is is germ central. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Ger- yeah I mean, yeah, definitely. I was like, it's germ central. But then when Las Vegas got shut mm-hmm. down, that's when it became real to me, and I was like, okay, I got to start taking this mm-hmm. shit serious. I gotta make mm-hmm. I gotta make sure that I wash my hands, which I do all the time, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, and and right now everybody making this washing the hands thing all new and shit. Like they doing yeah. they they doing instructional videos. Like, well, this is how you wash your hands, <laughs> and hands. this is how you wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands for like twenty, you know, like twenty seconds. Make sure you get on between your feet, dude, bro. We, We've been taught that since kids, yo. When babies, yeah. like you know, yeah. we we've been. I don't need no instructional video on how to wash <laughs> hands. I've been doing that since day one. But right. but now they making it like they making this shit like it's new. Like yeah. Come to think of it, come come to think of it, if y'all want to show some instructional videos, maybe y'all should talk to some of them nasty ass truck drivers. Oh, let them know, Sean. I'm just saying. I I seen <laughs> I seen plenty of you motherfuckers out there. I seen Ooh. plenty of you coming out of the bathroom not washing mm. your hands. Mm. But I I see y'all doing it now, though. 
I've seen plenty. Mm. I've seen plenty of you guys going from the bathroom to the fucking buffet, pick all over the food and shit and all like that. And I'm just sitting there looking at you like, no, I don't want the buffet. You sure? <laughs> no, cook cook my shit in the back. <laughs> I, I'm good. Cook, cook my shit in the back. And hey, I was, I, I was, I've been a strickler for gloves. Put some gloves on when you cook my shit in the back. I'm just yeah, saying. Period. I, I've been, period. I've been doing, I, I've been doing that way before this outbreak. This, I mean, this, yeah. this is like this. This shit is like this shit is like all new to y'all, motherfuckers. I've been doing this since fucking. Well, just, just come on now. Uh, exactly. We grew up on that. Grandma told us cleanliness is next to godliness, right? Like this ain't nothing new for us. I know. This this goes back to <laughs> Bit Mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You come yeah. you come in the kitchen. She slapped that hand like yo. She look at you with the evil eye like yo. What you doing? Hey, I'm about to get no no. Go hands. wash your hands. <laughs> My mom still do this. My mom still do that shit to this very day. I come in the kitchen. I, I hear it from downstairs. Hey, you wash your hands? I'm like, what the fuck, man? How you know I'm about to get something to eat? You wash your hands? Hey, yeah. I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure you wash your hands. I went downstairs today, gave her the remote control. She broke out the she broke out the disinfected wipes. Like, yo, here. It's like, what you want me to do with that? You know what to do with that <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, wipe that shit off. <laughs> Period. So, so yeah, man. That's that shit. This this shit ain't nothing new, man. This this. I mean, the 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 shit that we've been supposed to been doing when we learned, we instilled. We supposed to been doing that, but these motherfuckers out here. But now, now y'all are. Y'all see how serious it is now. I see, I see y'all getting out of the motherfucking trucks, putting on gloves before y'all, before y'all touch the fuel tank. And y'all supposed to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. I see y'all mother. Mm -hmm. And you want to know something else? I don't see. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I, I, I don't see y'all motherfuckers wearing flip flops no more. <laughs> say what now? Say say what now? I, say say what now? I, I I don't see uh I don't I don't see uh flip flop wearing truck drivers no more. No. <laughs> I I don't see Where that. They got on side. They got, Where they, be they, side? they got they got on they either they got on boots or they got on shoes, closed toe mm -hmm. shoes. Mm -hmm. I see y'all don't get out. I see y'all don't get out of the truck with uh with with with, with no flip flops and bare ass feet with them motherfucking corns mm -hmm. on the motherfuckers and shit. I see y'all don't get out. I, I see y'all come out of that motherfucker with socks, shoes, and and wherever else coming out. I seen one motherfucking truck driver coming out of the truck looking in a motherfucking hazmat suit. The chick came. The chick had. She was all geared up. Had the fucking the respirator mask and shit, and 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 the motherfucking gargles, looking like Breaking Bad up in that motherfucker. I'm for real. That shit crazy. Yeah, man, that shit is crazy. You letting them know, Sean. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm like, look, if anything, I'm like what Guilty said. That motherfucker say, stay the fuck home. If you don't need to be outside, stay the fuck home. But unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately for us truck drivers, we have to be out there. We out here. We outside. We, we out here. We have to be out there. And we, we, we more susceptible to it than anybody else because we going, yeah. we going from city to city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Alabama, uh, mm -hmm. Mississippi, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tennessee, we going from city to city, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we more susceptible to it than anything. Let them know, Sean. Definitely so. let them know. I just left Texas the other day, drove through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, just to get to Florida. So let them know. We out here. So uh back to your back to your C D man. This uh blue magic. Where 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 yeah. where the uh where the uh hold on. This 
actually one of yeah. my favorite. Where where this uh where where the I I, I could have sworn I I know where the title came from, but where the inspiration for the for the music on this uh e, uh what is it an EP or mixtape? Yeah, just a mixtape. I just want the flow differently on other people's beats. Because, you know, like, back in the days when the mixtape came out, it was basically, like, rappers rapping on other rappers' beats. Mm -hmm. so Ice Cube did it I the best. Yeah. yeah. Ice Cube, Ice Cube <laughs> did it the, he did it the best, so... All right, so you uh, so what? What again? I know I talked to you about your 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 hip hop career in in the interview, but what what was your inspiration to 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 get into the into the rap game? Well, I let me tell you, like I've always wanted to be a singer, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I used to be singing and I loved my big cousin so much and everything her opinion because, you know, she sung in a choir. Mm -hmm. And so one day I, you know, share her the song I wrote and I was singing it. And she was like, oh, it's a nice song, but you can't sing. <laughs> and I got to like crushed by the singing. Oh, you like, what? Right? I can't sing? What the hell? Yeah. And so, like, you know, I value her opinion because she was in the choir. So I'm like, well... I'm just gonna start rapping because I could all I always knew how to write music. So I just started rapping. Like I just rapped. Okay, I can't sing it, I could rap it. Like I can make it sound good. And that's what it was. Like, but I always wanted to be like Beyonce. Like I love the Beyonce. And I used to just be singing. I like Sade and the Baker. I want to sing Sean. So <laughs> yeah, but once I, you know, that was, you know, childhood traumas. That was one of my childhood traumas. Oh, okay. And I just started rapping. So, that, mm -hmm. so some of this, you know, I'm playing the, I'm playing the Florida, the Florida Orange video in the background. I, I, I'm, I'm okay. feeling, I'm feeling that video and the song itself. I mean, you know, you over here, you. you over here flunting your, now is that your, now, now let me ask you this since, since I got you now, is, yeah. is that your money? Or is that the money that that uh that 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 the producers gave you? Because you know, I, no, that's my oh, oh, that's my money. Oh. I went and took three thousand dollars out of the, of the so that's only three thousand, but that's that's my money. I had um a stack of hundreds, a stack of uh twenty, mm -hmm. and all of that was that was my money. That was three, that was only three thousand though, but it, it looked nice. Oh yeah, it? It, it, yeah, like <laughs> I said, like I said, it looked yeah, nice. I was I was driving to Swift then, so that was three thousand. Yeah, I had took it out of the bank, and the bank had asked me like, "Why am I taking out this one?" I was like, "For a video, I'm putting it right back." How? But in the teller was like, "How long? You should probably how how, how many how many how many takes and take take me take me to the take take me to the background. Uh, you know it, the the take me to the background on how this video was made. Oh my gosh! So. I was talking to, shout out to Mike Brooks, too. He got a YouTube channel. He does my music videos. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all go subscribe to him. But I was telling him about this idea. Like, I was like, look, I want to be in the video, get my hair did. I want to be getting my makeup did. And I want you to show the pretty parts of my city of St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. We went to the shop, and I was like, the girl was doing my makeup. And then I went to the other shop to get my hair did. And I'm like, look. I'm finna go to the bank and get this money. I want to show them how Florida Orange do it. Like, I need to show the people what a Florida Orange is. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, 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 I'm, I'm trying to figure, because I've seen, like, behind the scenes of of how they make videos and all like that and i'm glad that i'm talking to a hip-hop artist that could probably mm -hmm. tape you know tell me you know like when y'all was behind like behind the scenes right mm -hmm. Do, is is the now of course you lip syncing but is the mute yeah. the, the music is playing in the background while right. while you're lip syncing the song right right and mm -hmm. do you sing do you so when you go to like different places, do you just sing the whole song over and over and over, and then they just cut it into the one video? Yeah, they edit it. Yeah, definitely. Like when we were at the one shop, the makeup, um, the makeup place, I had the whole shop to myself, mm -hmm. so I could be in one room doing it, like with the mirrors, and then I was in the other room where the glitter wall was, and like we would just 
do it. We do one take with the whole song. Then we do it, do another take with the whole song. And we went to the other shop, the hair shop, to get my hair done. And y'all. Now, you know, like you said, you gotta you had to put that on hold right quick to uh yeah. you know, to uh you know, to do the damn thing for you know, for the people out here, you know what I'm saying? In the yes, midst of this uh in the midst of this outbreak. Are you yeah, are you um now not to be like, you know, a personal or up in your business or anything like that, but how how are you making money off 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 of your off of your music? Oh, okay. It was on iTunes and Spotify and everything like mm-hmm. that. Um, I had this, uh, distributed through Distro Kid, but I had um felt like they had overcharged me, so I took my card off. And so that's what I was getting royalties through that. Okay. But that stopped. But I got to make another one just started back up. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's what it was. I was using Distro Kid. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So yeah. is it is it is it like is is it like what uh is it like what TLC said back in the day? You only get like yeah. like one cent for <laughs> you get you get one cent for every copy sold. No, it wasn't like that. They got a little better because like with this kid, it's a it's you know it's independent. So that but anything I made, like if I was selling it on um iTunes for ninety nine cents, somebody bought it, that was coming to me. But you know they take a little percentage out, but it wasn't too much. It wasn't too bad. Not like how they, you know, it's the game kind of has changed a little bit. But okay. Yeah, it's just I'm I'm still an independent artist. Like I ain't got no big machine behind me. So okay. Not yet. You know. You say <laughs> not yet. You say, well, if you keep yet. if if you keep doing the damn thing, you know, making that good music, somebody's gonna find you. I mean, a lot of a lot of these yeah. a, a lot of garbage ass rappers was found. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of yeah. speaking of which, now I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not hip to the guy and I'm not saying that he's garbage or anything like that, but uh you was at the the baby concert. Uh mm-hmm. with, with all that there. with all that uh with all that uh with all that rah rah that was going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was there. Let's uh, they they talk. Let's let's bring up this video. Of what they talking about? Hold on, right quick. Oh, gotta turn you off in the background. There you go. Come okay, on, Nancy you guys. Grace. So, video. You know I love me some Nancy. I really right, do. Let's, oh, let's, let's, let's get to the, the baby. Yeah, damn now, it. there was some confusion as to why she did have a phone in his face. There was a flashlight on. Some people are saying that the phone hid the baby. Some people are saying it didn't. Either way, the phone got really close to the baby's face, mm-hmm. and the situation ended with him slapping her. Mm-hmm. All right. So now that you was there, did you mm-hmm. actually witness any the situ- witness anything going down? No. Why? Because I was on the other side of the club, and he was walking towards the. I was by the stage. So the right side of the club didn't see anything. We didn't see nothing. It was too, it was really packed to capacity. Mm-hmm. So no, we didn't see. And then the DJ didn't even really know what happened because they announced, well, some niggas was trying to fight him, y'all. He left. And that ain't even what happened. So we didn't see it. The, the right side didn't see us. I was right in front of the DJ booth. The right side didn't see what happened. So, Mm-mm. so what, so you, you, you came out. And I, I think I, I mm-hmm. think I read it in your Instagram that you said this, that you said this er, messed up the whole, messed up the whole club, uh, messed up the whole night. Yeah. What was told to you as far as what happened? You know, the bits and pieces that you was able to, 
that you was able to pull the out. The video went viral. I seen, but I what I seen, I seen it from a different angle. From what I seen, the phone hit his eye, mm-hmm. like it hit his eye, mm-hmm. and um, that's what I seen. And I feel like that one action kind of just ruined it because we didn't get our money back when he didn't perform. We didn't get refunded. What? And like, sorry, I spent a lot of money trying to get cute. I, like, well, I was cute. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you did mention you, you did mention that in your, in I think you, it, it was in your Instagram post that you uh, talked about it. So it was actually in my YouTube, my live. I had. Oh, live. you went live I was on so it. Angry, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't get our money back. <laughs> so you. I was angry. So what that? So what the hell, man? What, what, what kind of? Well, the money for the money for the. Uh, the ticket. For the tickets. I spent yeah. All right, so the the price of the tickets, I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to put all of it together. So, the price of the tickets, the makeup, the hair, the the clothes, the 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 getting dialed up. How 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 much we lost out for that night? All right, 107 for the ticket right there. Mm-hmm. My lace wig was $380 to get it. Uh- Diet. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I got. Yeah, okay, I got so it. Wait, that was just for the. That was just for the week uh-huh. to get it styled. That was a hundred dollars because I had wore it straight one day, and then the next day I came back with the chopstick. So to get it styled, that was a hundred dollars just to get it installed and styled. Uh huh. Then my outfit, I had outfit, the purse, the shoes. Let's add it up. Let me go. Let me make sure I'm giving you real numbers. I just want you to add it up and know. Cause I sent the lady the money through my veil, so I'm gonna pull up my bank account real quick and just to show you how much. But I end up getting this shirt. Um, I end up getting this the shirt, the purse to go with it, and the shoes from this lady. And um, I'm gonna tell you, I think my shoes was twenty five, but I want to make sure I give you the look, the facts, and the teeth. You know what I'm saying? So I end up giving, I end up paying seventy six dollars for my my shirt my purse and my shoes it was 76 dollars. i got it right here and then my chopsticks i had to order them from amazon and to get them they were 17 dollars to get into my house in you know one day so that was 17 dollars. and i had to go get my um glasses and my earring and my um all that probably came up to like 30 dollars right there for my glasses my, my earrings and my accessories and stuff like that like for my earrings and my glasses my necklaces and my bracelets. Well, I got that poly, um, I, I got the I got yeah. the picture up looking looking good by the, looking good <laughs> by the way. Um, okay, and then I had to pay for my nails to get done. I had big boy diamonds in my nails, Sean. Like I gotta send you the picture of my nails, like my nails. I uh, got you say you got big You say you gotta send me the pictures of the of the of the of the, of the I diamonds. I got big boy diamonds in my nails Ooh. right now. I had went and got a whole fresh nail set. And then it wasn't, it, it, I, these, my nails and my toes, that was $80 right there. And then I got big boy diamonds, so you know they charge it extra for that. That's the extra $12. So what that is, I need to add it up. Wow. But yeah, like, and then before I got my lace wig, I had to get my natural hair treated to get it straightened. Mm-hmm. And that was $126. Wow. So I spent a lot of money for this concert, and I didn't get to see him. And I was front row, Sean. All he had to do was make it to the stage, and he was on his way, and he didn't make it to the stage, Sean. He didn't make mm. it. After that happened, he left, Sean, and we didn't get refunded our ticket money. Like I would have at least been all right if we would have got refunded our ticket money, but we didn't. Wow. But so, so let me ask you this: Do you now, now? Let's be honest. We we know that the we know that the chick probably messed it up for everybody, but. Do you think that he should have went up on stage still and and at least acknowledge the fact that you know the situation went down? Oh, and I'm trying to because you know we're human, so I'm trying to think. Damn, what I want to. Get up on stage after I just got hit in the phone, and then I just had to slap. Now you, now you're hip hop. Now you, before. now you, now you're hip hopper. I would want to go right. Too. I would want to leave too, cause I don't know who. I don't know if they nigga or if they woman gonna come after me and want to fight. I would, I would want to leave too. I wouldn't want to stay. I would have got out of here. Okay. okay. Honestly, yeah. Okay. All right. But it would have been nice if it. You know, he might have could have. Re- 
it looked it so it happened so fast it was almost looked like a reflex. Yeah, I mean, I just, like I said, I I, I tried to you know I'm I'm watching the video and I'm I'm watching him just just walking and it, it's it's just so quick. It's yeah. so it's just so quick. Like I couldn't even tell. I don't know. What I, I can't. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah. tell what happened. I, I, right here. Let me bring it up. Like right here, I, I could mm-hmm. see the, I could see the light in mm-hmm. his face, but I also see mm-hmm. lights everywhere else. Right. But you know he, you know he, it just, it happened so quick. Right here, like right here, I think this is the chick right here. Hold mm-hmm. on. Or no, it looked like it's a chick in front of the chick. So it it it, it mm-hmm. just happened. It it just happened so fast that I, I I can't I can't tell what happened. Was was he in the right? Was he in the wrong? Uh whatever the case, but he did um he did come back to uh to apologize. And I think this is the video. Yeah, he did come back to apologize. I guess he had to, you know, come back and and uh, say something. I do. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, there was a female on the other end of that flashlight on that phone. But you know, mm-hmm. keep in mind, mm-hmm. I could see because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you got the flash this close to me, which is okay. It's no problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of people did. They didn't put it as close as you put. Mm-hmm. It. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people have flash on me, and that's okay. You know, that's mm. that's what I sign up for. That's the risk I take when coming up. I I don't know. Like I said, man, it, it happened. It happened so fast. You know. Definitely. You know. Well, who you feel like was in the wrong? I you know uh, you know what I I think I I think and this is only my opinion. You know, shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit happens all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody step on your shoes. Somebody bump up against you the wrong way. But, you mm-hmm. know, if you, you know, if you like, you know, trying to make your way up to the stage and somebody is impeding your way, then natural reflexes is going to come in. So... Mm-hmm. If like if like he said, you know, she was there with the with the with the cam with the with the camera fla- uh with the phone flash light in his in his direct face, mm-hmm. you know, natural reflexes is gonna come in and 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 push you out the way. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Maybe you know, right? He, he he didn't know who who did that. He didn't even know if it was a female. He found that out until after. You know, right. and then, you know, yeah. she come, you know, she comes on TMZ talking all that rah-rah, talking about, hey, you know, I, uh, I, I got hurt. I can't sleep. Hold on right quick. Here she go. <laughs> it was like hurting, like it was tender. Mm. So I did mm-hmm. go to the hospital mm-hmm. um, and I was diagnosed with a contusion. Uh, okay. Um, to my cheek. Uh, okay. He, he still makes a joke about mm-hmm. me, like yesterday mm. he, uploaded something on his page mm-hmm. yeah go and go ahead and get them tears working yeah go go, go ahead and get them tears working he was sincere with the apology. come on now i was embarrassed mm-hmm. you know i got people calling uh-huh uh-huh me, um writing me on uh-huh uh-huh through fake pages, uh, uh, okay so, so let me let, now listen here woman okay <laughs> I, I like i said i i i watched i watched the video I watched the video and you really can't tell. You you really can't tell that you know contusions and all like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You re- you really can't tell. You you really can't tell. So I I don't know. I don't know. You know she's you know I'm 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 sure she's gonna get paid. She's gonna get paid. She gonna yeah. she gonna she yeah. gonna get some money back, but Nifa Nee can't get her money back after after all the yeah. after all the money that she put <laughs> into it. You know, getting all dialed up. You know, about two three hundred dollars, smelling smelling yeah. good, looking like money over there, Not and enough. she can't. It was 
more, more than that. that. So she can't get her money, but she's gonna get paid though. <laughs> and I ain't even at. I ain't even. I forgot to mention the price of my makeup. I didn't even tell you about oh, that. Like, <laughs> we didn't even add that up. But I'm you saying, say, like, you say I ain't. You said you I ain't add up the makeup. <laughs> yeah, we 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 forgot to add the makeup. I feel like. If that was Beyonce walking, do you think she would have put the phone? Hell no. Hell no. Okay. Hell no. Better yet, better yet, she wouldn't even be that close. True. She wouldn't. I mean, you know, dude walking in the crowd, like, he, you know, he's trying to walk in the crowd and be, you know, be with you guys. But Beyonce? No, nigga. That, mm-hmm. that it would have been a wide net around her, like Definitely. fifty feet, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 50, 50 feet. You come, you come within that. You come within that danger zone. You gonna hear that? No, you are gonna hear that danger zone. You see what I'm saying? Your mm-hmm. ass is gonna get bounced the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So nah, right, right, nah. Right. Same thing with Jay Z. If that was Jay Z, your ass wouldn't have been that close. And I, I probably think right. Jay-Z probably would have did something worse. You know what I'm saying? Period. Period, so, son. That's it. That's all we that's saying. That's what's up. Gotta give him to him so real. Nif- <laughs> so, Nifa, Nifa, before we started, before we started this uh this conversation, man, and before we get up out of here, you you had a question for 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 everybody <laughs> out here. What what what's your what's your question? I I need to know. My question is like, what is a man looking for in a woman? Because, mm. you know, I'm out here just single and, you know, I got a good job. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm a good mom. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, you know, I, you know, I got so much to offer, you know, as far as bringing something to the table. So what is a man looking for in a woman, Sean? I need to know. Give us a piece. Look at here. Look at here. I. <laughs> I, I got bad experience with uh with women. I, I I probably might be the wrong person to ask. I mean to ask that question because I I have bad experience with women. You know I I thought I you know I thought I had a friend, but you know I thought I had a friend, but you know sometimes sometimes females like you know they want to consider themselves strong black females. And I get that. Mm. I get that. You know, and I, I always wonder, like, you know, they, they come on and they say, yo, I don't want a man. I don't need a man. I don't need him. I don't need that. I don't need this. But I asked the question in in a, in a previous uh, podcast, which is not up no more. But um, I asked the question for you guys, for you strong women out there that don't need a man. What do you guys do for dick? Mm. That's what I want to know. Y'all, y'all don't need no man for nothing else. But what do you guys do for dick? That, that's what I want to know. Well, I've got a question. Okay. So can a woman change a broken man, Sean? Like, Ooh. you know, let's just say that man. Ooh. I mean, because let me know. Can a woman change a broken Mm-mm. man? Mm-mm. 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 No, they can't. Mm-mm. Well, what can Mm-mm. we? How can Mm-mm. we? This like be, this. You know, this like we can't. This like we can't change. We 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 can't change a woman. A woman definitely can't change a man. Well, the a woman a broken a, man. I'm a, saying. Let's just say you know how you said you have a bad experience with mm-hmm, women. Mm-hmm. So if I'm coming in the game, just you know for hypothetically purposes, like I'm coming in the game. Okay, I like I like mm-hmm. you, but. You already had a bad. Somebody already then put something on your mm-hmm. mind about you know you feeling some type way already. But I, I here I am. I'm a good woman, and you know can can it be changed with the right woman? You know, like it, it could probably be changed with the white right woman. I mean, you know what I'm saying. But it depends. So what is the right woman? I, I what is a man looking for in a woman? <sighs> that go back to my original first question. I, what is a man looking for in a woman? Like if you're a broken man. What do you look for in a woman if you're trying to have a friend, Sean? What she got to have? Do she got to be submissive to you? Like, what, what, I need to know. I need to I, know it. Like, do, do you want it to be independent? Do you want her to make good, good money? What are you looking for? To, how do I get a good man? Like, I, yeah, I can be independent. I'm strong. But what do, 
you look for in the I, shine. Me, like I said, like I said, and and it's not just me. I I, I guess I guess uh, a woman like uh, I, I guess a woman got to understand uh, uh, a brother's situation. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand uh, the brother's background. You know what I'm saying? Like. So back to my question. So can a woman change a broken man? Cause hey, you still ain't so well, bad. Well, he probably, oh, okay, yeah, okay, ain't, okay. What do you look for in Okay, a okay. So he, he, you, a good woman could probably change, uh, could, I ain't going to say fits, but probably can change him. You know what I'm saying? Because if a man been broken for a long time, you know, it's going to take, it's going to take time. I guess it's going to take some tender love and care to, 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 to get that man okay, so, unbroken. Okay, so a broken man needs tender, loving yeah. care. What else is a broken man looking for in a woman or just a regular man? Like what do what characteristics, what what do we need to do? Like, so you feel like we're trying, but I mean, then you need time, you need tender, love and care. How can we give that to you? How can you be open to that from us if you are already? Some- like some some me men, some some men is intimidated by that. You know what I'm saying? You know, some men are are intimidated by that. You know. Do you understand why I feel like it's a lose lose for us out here? Like, cause you just cause you okay for for my instance, cause I tell you, I'm telling you, like I'm a good woman and I'm, I'm, I'm single. I'm out here, I'm doing my thing, but just cause I'm doing my thing, don't mean I don't know how to treat no man like or and I don't. Love. I ain't never said. That I don't you know, like, I'm raising somebody's wife. I can't expect to be the most good, best wife that I can be. Like, I want that. I want that. And a lot of men, some, what? a lot of men, a lot of men don't. I mean, you know, they, uh, the, uh, are they broke? Like, could they, like, like, I'm mean, are they broken? I'm mean, not broke, but I mean, like, are they broken to the point where they don't look? to be marriage they or they don't want a good woman or you know like they just want to what <laughs> my original question is what is a man looking for in a woman like well i well what? some you know other than other than some of these screwballs out here that just want to just try to jack lay every female some some men like you know like in the trucking field for example some men that if they if they honestly looking for a woman you know, and they, you know, in their situation being a truck driver, they want a woman to understand their situation. They want a woman to, to know that I'm not going to be there every day. I'm not going to be there all the time. But when I'm here, I am here. You see what I'm saying? You know, I, I want a woman, I, you know, they want a woman to you know when you over the road you need somebody to talk to you know tuck you in that night like yo how was your day today oh my day was yada 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 how was your day today oh well my day was yada 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 you know what i'm saying the one you know the man want that woman to 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 be the ear to be the support that he needs to be out on the road and I, I think that's the type of woman that that uh that's the type of woman, especially for a truck driver, you know, a, a male mm-hmm. truck driver, I feel that what they looking for. Now, unfortunately, there's not too many uh females to choose from. Now, unless the female that's already in the in in the in the industry. All right. Okay. Now, if the woman is already in the industry, then of course she knows what the man wants and what the man mm-hmm. needs because she's in the industry doing the exact same thing. And on the flip side of that, that's what she's looking for. She's looking for somebody for that support. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but for women that's not in the industry, you know, they get they get too needy. They need you to be home every day. They need you. They, they need you to be home every day. They need you to be up under them. And and 
And being the truck driver, you can't do that. You can't. Not all women. Not all women, Sean. You can't put them in okay. the category like that. Okay. Like, okay. I don't want nobody all up on me 24-7. It's, I want you to go work. Go do your thing. Be that provider for me. And and I know I will be that support system for you. You can talk to me, you know, because I know I understand how the shippers and the receivers can be. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can get somewhere and people is nasty mm-hmm. to you, mm-hmm. Like, so I understand what you're saying as far as, you know, a woman in the in the business, but every woman don't want you to be up under them mm-hmm. and all that. Same like, thing with the men. We don't want, we don't want, we want you to buy. Yeah, we don't want you to be all up under us either. You know what I'm saying? But we, we, you know, we, we, we need that support. We need that support. We just need that woman to understand, uh, to understand, to be caring and, and all that other good stuff. It's just unfortunate. You know, it's just unfortunate yeah. you you know, you, you can't find it. And when you try and yeah. and when a brother tries to shoot his shot, when when mm-hmm. a brother tries to shoot his shot, debate me on this. Mm-hmm. When a brother tries <laughs> when, <laughs> when when a brother tries to shoot his shot at a female that he thought that was digging him. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, I mean, come to find out that uh he's thirsty or or Ooh. he's uh he's thirsty or he's just you know he's just trying to like you because of the you know because of the because of whatever. You know what I'm saying? What about what about what about mm. the guys that's what what about the guys that see these cute truck drivers out here and and we want to, you know, holler at them, but they don't give us no play. Like it's all about the approach. What did you say? How did you say? Okay. It? Did you come out thirsty? Mm-hmm. Like, did you did you give me a thirsty? Are you pressing me? Mm-hmm. Like, damn, give me fifty feet, nigga. Like, what's up? Right. Like, it's okay to be freely, but if you pressing mm-hmm. me and and making me feel some type of way, no, nigga, you corny. I ain't with it. Like, how did you approach? So me? how? Like, it's all about okay, the approach. okay, did okay, you? okay, Nifa. There you go. How to approach you? What what? What, how how to approach you? Because if I if I, I I would think an approach would be like, "Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Um, my name, you know, my name's Lockout. You know, what's your name? And all like that. You know, walk you to the walk you to the to the door, open up the door for you while while still keeping a a, a modest conversation with you. Okay, well that's it. There you go. What? That's- that sounds good what to me. Be, what would what, what be... That is it. <laughs> I like for somebody to open the door for me, give me a smile. You know, we human, let's chit and chat it up. How long you been driving? Oh, do you like the company you driving for? Like, you know. Okay. That's, that sounded good uh, to me, uh, son. What's okay, so on, so so the follow-up, how, how, to, how to follow it up? Like, you know, how can I keep in contact with you? Uh, because this is the millennium. Asking a, mm-hmm. asking fe, asking females for phone numbers is pretty much out the door, you know. You know, yeah. we 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 ask you for your Instagram, or we ask you for your Facebook, or or we ask you for your yeah. Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, yeah, and I I, I understand that I'm a millennium. Like I really don't like giving out my it's, phone number, but if we can start exactly, out, I can see your personality first. And then you know, uh, is he goofy? Is he? You know, how, oh, that's funny. I'm okay. like that. And then we DM. Okay. You DM no, no. me, and then you okay. Get my but number. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> see that? There you go. See, I'm from. <laughs> See right there, this the difference between the millennial and the old school. See, I'm old. I'm old school. See, I'm old school. You see what I'm saying? I I can't do. I can't do. I I can't do. I can't do all of this. Uh, this 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 Twitter and the and the DM. Your age. But your age, you got to go up. Okay, but (laughs) some 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 of the females of the of of the age is 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 the same way. Like, yo, I'm about to hit you up in the DM. Like, yo, can I talk to you? Like, can I hear your voice? Not not everybody. Not everybody. You gotta you gotta show me who you are. But how we gonna? Okay, how you? How would you? How would I? How would I be able to show you how I am if I'm if I'm texting you all the time? No, 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 no. My, this, me, 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 me. Okay, okay listen. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> it's okay. me. 
Like if I if I okay, like if I if I find you attractive, you might get my number first but real. But I usually don't give out my number because I don't want people to have access to me while I'm out here working because I gotta stay focused. But yeah, I do want a friend. If I want to talk to you and you DM mm-hmm. me and I'll start watching your stories and keeping up with you and we're texting in the DMs, then I will when I feel comfortable with mm-hmm. you, I will give you my phone number. And that's how we can talk on the phone and we can talk on the phone while we drive it. But I you have to give me that time and you got to let me know who you are. I need to go through your pictures. Do you take care of your family? Mm-hmm. Like why I need to see if you got pictures of your son or your daughter or have you got you know you got your mama up there do you love your mama like because mm-hmm. how you gonna love me if you don't even love your mama like but so i need so to we so we that. we talking about we, we talking about stuff like this, this you, you talking like a true millennial because me because I see am. me old I'm school because see me old school I, I i don't have pictures of my moms on 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 my facebook or on my uh I just told you who you need. You need an older yeah. woman. You need somebody born in 1980s, <laughs> like, because a millennium will not work for you, son. Because, like, you you not getting my number first off rip unless you you talk to me, unless you got suave. Oh, right? okay. Like, but, like, if you open up the door and I really don't know you, but, hey, you look nice, you look handsome, that's not enough to have full access to me. Oh, okay. You know? Sorry. I got to protect my peace at the end of the day because... I'm out here on this road, and you know it's be road raised. I got to protect my right. feet, not get my number off it. But that's just me. That's how I am. Different women may not be like that. Okay. You get what okay. I'm saying? You may have, you might can give somebody their number. They might they don't have no problem. But with me, I got to protect my peace. I got you. Ten so full. Only the people who I want to have access to me has access to me. So that's why when I'm looking for, if I'm looking for a man, I'm exclusive to that man. Like you already know, Alfred, it was hard to get my number. So you already going to know. Mm-hmm. In the, you ain't going to have nothing to wear. Ain't no insecurities, no none of that, because I'm gone. Because you already seen how long it took for you to even get my exactly. number. Exactly. I'm not exactly. like that. I'm not easy. So that's with me. That's my point of view, mm-hmm. son. But you might need somebody older who will give you their number, Alfred, because they ain't into the internet and stuff. But that's just what it is with me. Okay. My millennial. Okay, man. millennial. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up, millennial. But like I said, that's, you know, I, I agree. This, you know, it's, 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 it, it, it is what it is out here. It is, it is hard for men and or women to, you know, mm-hmm. to, 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 to garner a relationship and and for some of these guys out here that's 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 that sees a woman uh that sees a woman and want to shoot her you know shoot his shot at her you know what i'm saying and yeah but at the same time you gotta look at it you ain't the first one you ain't the only one they've been getting hollered at mm-hmm. all day like mm-hmm. it, it's just to a point like dang just let us pump our gas and go because we've been got to deal with it every time we stop. We also got to think about that. We still human, but we've been getting hollered at all day. So she probably, when you open the door for us, she probably wasn't even with it. Like, like so all I just left the shipper, they were trying to holler at me. Now I'm at the truck stop, they trying to holler at me. Let me just get to my truck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to tell people, quick, I'm married. I got a ring on my ring finger. I ain't got... Oh, my husband in the car. Like, I ain't got time. That's not why I'm out here. This ain't no love connection. But at the same time, I just want to know what is a man looking for in the woman? Because sometimes it's hard. And yeah, you got to be selective, but you also got to think, man, I didn't been got, I didn't got hollered at 30 times and it's only 3 p.m. Like, you get so what I'm let me So let me ask you this. How do you feel? How, how do you feel about online dating? Or I'm, you know what? I think I, I think Guilty said it best in his uh, live feed. Don't fuck with a YouTuber. What do you, what do you think about that? Mm. He says don't fuck with a with a YouTube with a YouTuber, female or and or male, or if it's a female because like the female, like if she's a YouTuber and all like that, you got a gang of motherfuckers that's you know that's in your comments giving you the googly eyes especially if you got you know especially if you're a hottie which you are you know what i'm saying you got you get well i need you to answer that question too because you're a youtuber too but um go ahead finish the question you was done no, with it like can i no go? no no you can go you can go I'm, I'm just saying that he said he, he said that you know he said don't fuck with a youtuber you know what i'm saying i see i don't 
don't know who this man is you speak of. So I, I, I this is my first time yeah, my, hearing it from you, Simon. Yeah, he, so, yeah so he's my, uh, he's my G guilty. Uh, hold on, right quick. Hold on, I gotta turn my. Uh, hold on, I gotta turn my tripod off. There we go. Uh, my man, Guilty718, and I think the last, uh, I think it was the last live feed he was, he was, uh. What else was, I mean, what was the reason? Like, why, why, why he said that? Give me a better context of it. Like, what, why he feel that way? I mean, googly eyes just ain't enough. I need to know, like, what, what, what happened? <laughs> Hold on. It was a good ass live feed. Uh, it was, oh, it, was? it was, it was a good ass live feed. It probably, it probably might be. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You gotta you you gotta actually go watch it. It's uh. You need to send me I, that. I link. will. I don't have no problem. I, I will yeah, send. Okay. I will send you the link. But it's called Pimpin' Ain't Dead. This is him. Hold on, right quick. Hold <laughs> on. This this is him. See, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, but in that in that same live feed, in that same live feed, he he came back. And uh, he came back and said, you know, the the strongest thing that a that a female got is the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Are you there? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. I'm thinking you keep going. He said the end. And what else? Yeah, he, yeah. He, you got to. I'll like send you the. I'll stuff. send you the link. I'll send you the link. The uh, so you go and check them out. Uh, good dude over there. Good dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I consider I consider him the Black Howard Stern, so he definitely uh, he, he definitely got a, a great platform over there. It might not be for everybody, but like I said, go over there, check him out, and uh, and uh, definitely right. see what he's talking about. But the 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 one is called uh, "Pimping Ain't Dead" debate. Pimping ain't dead, so yeah, so yeah. I mean, it seems nah, like he nah, might be nah, a little broken. No, I don't. No, I don't think he's broken. No, nah, he's married. Know, no, like, he's married. Yeah, he's okay. yeah. No, 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 no. He's oh, married. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I understood yeah. what he's saying as far as like you know, if you nah, say your nah, phone, he, no, you shouldn't be looking for you know to be in a relationship. You gotta be looking. Nah, for, I feel like you should look for a husband, but everybody minds different, and that's not mm-hmm. you can't categorize every woman. Like, nah, like, he's married, but the actual the actual thing but, came up yeah, about the about the phone bill thing was uh was another. Another YouTuber, uh, I think, uh, I think he took it down. A-A-R-T-E-E. Uh, I mean, just with that, like this, like, just for instance, the female might not can be able to pay her phone bill today, but with a man's help and direction and motivation, he can damn sure motivate her to get her shit together. I mean, at the end of the day, you trying to be a partner. This is a partnership. Help me help, like, let's build together. Like, shit, I might not have it right now, but bitch, help me get up on my feet, and then I'm going to get up on my feet, and I'll be able to pay that shit. Uh, I'll be able to pay eight bills on my own, because you, you my man. You rocking with me. Motivate me. Let's let's take over the world together, like, black love. Like, so, shit, it's, it's different ways to look at it, Sean. Like, you get what I'm saying? Well, this this one right here, this this one right here, uh, this was the, the topic – from that particular topic came up from another YouTuber and he was like ranting about going, mm. about going to kill his girlfriend or his, oh my, what? About to, <laughs> yeah, about to kill this, about to kill his baby's mama because, because he didn't pay her phone or he, he didn't want to pay her phone bill. And he, he, he went on a, he went on a YouTube rant over here, talk no. over here talking about. Oh, let me see if this the video. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, here we go. Hold on. This is. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. There you go. Please. Real nigga shit. I need a nigga go get my fucking four wheeler right now. The bitch told me I sit in my four wheeler outside in the rain and I'm in fucking Texas, nigga. I need somebody to go get my shit. Where my fucking rally at? Where my rally at? Can you pop in, nigga? I need somebody to go to Virginia and get my shit. 
my four wheeler, my drunk said, bitch, tell me I sit in my four wheel outside. It's fucking raining because I don't want to pay a cell phone bill. Yo, somebody, I need somebody to get my shit before I go to jail, then I go smoke every motherfucker over it. Cut your ass, bitch. Before I go smoke every fucking thing over there, nigga. Mm. Fuck this country mm. ass hoe playing with me, fuck. Sound like, sound, so, 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 sound, so, sound so, like, so, sound so, like, so, sound like brother man. Like, sound like, right yeah, sound like brother man had a whole lot of hate for that woman. Mm. Woo. Yeah, half, of, half, half of men do. Half of, half, it seems like half of men really don't like women at the end of the day. Like, I mean, I mean, you know, so, you know, but hey, that's that's a different story for a different day. Ooh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> That boy came. That boy came with the venom on that female. Like, yo, no, no I'm not congratulating that at all. Uh, uh-uh. uh, oh, okay, no, 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 uh, no, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm just saying he came with the venom on that female. Me, uh, uh-uh. uh. See, I see me. I, I keep a lot of things to the vest. I I do not come on YouTube and invent about nothing. If I have a problem with you, I'll bring it to you. I'm not gonna get on. I'm not gonna get on YouTube and 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 go get my rolly and I'm about to smoke you. No, I'm about to call. If me and you can't come to an agreement over the phone, then we'll try to come to an agreement in face to face. That's right, that's right, what right. I would do. I, I uh uh mm no no. Then that's yeah. and from what I understand, that's his baby's mama. So is that why the man was saying don't date a YouTuber because he was a YouTuber and he was going off on his baby mom like he brought it to the internet. I would that- you know no it was it was a lot of no it was a lot of it was a lot of other discussions. Oh, okay, uh, it okay. was a lot, a lot of other discussions you know because we was talking about the you know. How the power of the pussy is, you know what I'm saying? Because females have that power. They got they they got the power of the pussy for real. You know what I'm saying? So, if we have the power of the pussy, then why y'all cheat? Oh, mm. oh, bomb drop! I mean, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. okay now. <laughs> Okay. okay now. Maybe too powerful, I mean. Okay now. I, 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 I and look, I look, I I'll you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, de- mm. I, you know what? Uh you know what? I'm wrong. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm not gonna mm mm. I, I can't Okay. I, I can't right. I, I can't uh I me per- <laughs> me personally. I can't comment on that, but okay. But I can say you can't comment on Sean. I, look, we we talking we 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 talking real life, Nifa, for real. Yeah, we did. We, 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 we talking we we talking we talking you 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 call we we talking we talking real life, man. Because you know why why men cheat if that pussy is power? If you, some look. Some men is just dumb, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that was some, okay. Some right, some 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 men is just dumb, you know what I'm saying? They you know they sure. they 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 think with their little head, you know their little head leads them leads them down to the down to the down to the water, and it's like yo, you want to drink it? You want to drink it? Come on, drink it. Come on. Drink it. Nobody ain't gonna know. Okay, so what do it mean when men say pussy is pussy? Like pussy is just pussy. Like it's just a piece of pussy. Like what if 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 it's got so much power? I just need to know. You know what? I, I'm going to tell you. Back, you, you know, young lockout. Young lockout used to be like young lockout. Young, okay, young your lock, younger day. Young young lock. Hey day. Young lock. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. This is wait. I. Do, I have to go up there and get it. Oh, is it? Oh, mine in the microwave. Oh, you, you the bomb. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Um, young lockout. Young lockout. Um, used to say that pussy had a personality. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what he used to say. And, um, and yeah, she would look at me like I was dumb. Like, you stupid. But, I mean, you know, maybe it's a way that it maybe maybe it's the way the female the 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 other female move or the way she was flexible or you know kind of you know backflip stretch and all like that you know what i'm saying uh, so you basically just proved my point. Like it's a loose loose for the women it's out here. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's a loose loose. You going somewhere else because she can do a couple tricks, nigga. Like I, I'm just I, I'm just saying, you know, that's that's part of the, you know, that's part, you know, one that's that's probably might be one other thing. But you know what? I I've seen this. Yeah, I mean, but you I, can I, teach, I, you can communicate to me what you like as a man. Right. How can I please you? Why is that more harder than going outside of a relationship? You really me because I'm listen if you my man we we together we together we have an unprotected sex but you going out of the side of the relationship you risking my health because you because this bitch could do a couple back flips and a spit on the dick or some shit but if you I could we can work out together and do yoga and I can learn how to spit on the dick if you'll just tell me that's what the fuck you like mm. I don't understand mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> knee for knee y'all Knee for knee, the floor, the orange in this motherfucker dropping bombs on y'all niggas. Woo. Dropping bombs on me, damn it. Like, yo, you, 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 woo. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. And I, I hear you and I feel you. I, like I said, I, you know, hey, life, life, <laughs> life lessons. Life yeah. lessons, life lessons yes. learned by lockout. I mean, by lockout men. Life left, life lessons given by Nifa Nee. <laughs> Woo wee! Hell yeah! Um, I, you know, basically, it it, it all comes down to, um, you know, it it all it it, it gotta comes down to. You know, to keep to keep the relationship, if you're in a relationship, it, it's going to come down to communication. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? It's going to have it, it's going to have to come down to communication and honest communication. Honest, Be real with what honest, you need, what you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honest, honest communication. And um, hold on, right quick. There we go. Um, I had to set. I had to set up the uh, video before I pop in. I got my nephew to end it. But uh, honest communication is is yeah. is definitely the key to keep a to keep a good relationship. To keep a good to keep a good woman. You, you know what I'm yes. saying? If the if the woman's good, listen listen to me. If the woman's good, and you know she's good, and you want to keep and you want to keep that woman, you you got to keep. You got to keep the relationship fresh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If mm-hmm. if it's if it's coming back if if you're a truck driver coming back home, take her out to dinner that night. Mm-hmm. Wash up, go upstairs, put on a button down, put on some nice shoes, take her to a jazz mm-hmm. club or something like that. Mm-hmm. And and you know, and and make that and make that weekend memorable. You know, kid, right. kids is grown. Well, at least my kid is grown. But kids, right, right, but right. kids is grown. So when y'all get back home, y'all can knock the boots or whatever, whatever. And then the next day, you know what I'm saying? The next day, y'all mm-hmm. can, y'all can, y'all can go out. Uh, y'all can go y'all separate ways for a little bit. Do what she need to do. Right. You do what you need to do, and then come back and communicate with each other. If y'all had to, if y'all watching TV or something like that, put down the devices. Right. Be present in the moment. Yes. Put down yeah. the devices. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If um if 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 y'all come back that night and y'all, you know, like chop it up and all like that, conversate, how was your day? How was your day? And this, that, and the third, cool, we're done. Make sure that you're done. And then you can jump into your devices. 
You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But don't yeah. but don't have your devices while y'all trying to communicate with each other. It don't Why y'all work. spending that time because you can't get that time back. Just put it down for at least an hour, you mm-hmm. know? Be present. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So put Definitely. so put down the devices. All right, Nifa Nee, we about to get on up out of here. I appreciate right. you coming on here. <laughs> that Thank is you what's so up. Much for but uh this uh I'm 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 in I'm I'm in your studio right here. I'm in your studio. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's how we that's how we doing it in the background. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is the studio. This what's up, man. So like like I said before, man, you 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 doing the damn thing. And I like those headphones that I got in the back because I got the same headphones on. The same. <laughs> Thank you so much. But uh I appreciate you coming on. You know what I'm saying? Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. For, so, Thank you for having you. Try. We had a had a had a great conversation. Yeah, it was so good. I love it. I love chopping it up with you. I was a pleasure. I appreciate it. That's what's up. I appreciate it. So thank you for coming (laughs) on. And we'll we'll definitely do it again. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait. We'll definitely do it again. So everybody, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, say something about this bomb ass mic that I'm on right now, the Shure SM7B. Y'all seen the live feed earlier today? Told you that sound was going to come in with the crispy sound. You see what I'm saying? Ooh. I, Ooh. That, that sound <laughs> is courtesy of the SM. 7b the legendary microphone of michael jackson you know what i'm saying if you got again like i said if you guys like this again don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more content like this i am your humble host lockout men that is nifa knee definitely go over to her let me let me uh let me bring her youtube page up again Definitely go over to subscribe to her. That is Nifa Nee over on uh, over on YouTube. She's a truck driver. She's an entrepreneur. She's she's a motivator. And if you new guys want to talk to her and you you want some uh, some advice, unfortunately, it is not free. And I didn't <laughs> and I didn't touch on that for a reason because I I just didn't. But if you guys want some of that, uh, really, you got to understand, I put so much free game out there to the point where it's like I get deep, my DMs is flooded, my emails mm-hmm, is flooded. Mm-hmm. I got so many, I got great content on there. So if you don't want to take the time out to go watch it or get on my live and ask me a question, I'm sorry. Like, Let's get the business goals right, the financial goals mm-hmm. right. How much you trying to save? Do you want to buy a truck? How long do you want to be? I can get you together. Mm. But hey, you want to talk to me 30 minutes? Mm. $20. Ooh. Hour, $40. Ooh, 20. And I can be your coach. I can be your mentor. Mm. And we can get you together. Mm. Get, get, hey, get together with knee for knee. Get together with it. <laughs> Gotta send it through PayPal. I accept Apple Pay and Zelle. <laughs> and I don't do cash out. And on that note, we are gone.